I am Adam Samuel. Welcome to Reality Hour. Today, we are recapping the final quarterfinal week of America's Got Talent. Joining me for this podcast is my co-host, Eric. How are you doing today, Eric? I'm doing good. Um, despite the fact that this show was the worst... We've had... This has been the worst season of AGT so far. Um, it just keeps getting worse. <laughs> yep. Yeah, this, this, week, this week set a new low for me, but... Um, yeah, let's just get this shit over with, shall we? <laughs> well, all right. So just a bit of housekeeping notes. We have some new kind of podcast people coming on the show. So when we were, because of how my schedule worked out, we had to film our pre an episode, a new episode with Grace, who is uh, our new our newcomer, one of the two newcomers. Um, we were discussing Dancing with the Stars during the America's Got Talent results show. So as the show is airing live on Reality Hours channel, Eric drops a bomb in the in the chat and kind of because I yeah. haven't even watched the performances yet. At that point, I just I, my goal was to mess with Adam, not to mess with Grace, um, because it was Grace's first time. I didn't want to mess with her, but I really wanted to mess. You with wanted Adam. to screw me. Yes, I did really badly, <laughs> and. Also, I just wanted to vent mostly. I wasn't really to screw you. It was mostly to vent because I, I needed to talk to somebody about the crap that went down in this results show. <laughs> I didn't want to wait to do it. So, um, yeah. All right. Well, how, what what has happened here? I, I I just literally finished watching the episode before we went live. I actually Eric got my li- got a live reaction to one of the performances. Um, Something just doesn't feel right about this season. I don't know what it is. I don't think it has anything to do with the coronavirus, the way the things are placed. I, I think it's just the talent. I think there's just... Less talent this year. What do you think is, is the problem? That, it's the talent. I mean, the actual the actual production is as good as it's ever been. The problem is the acts aren't living up to it. Yeah, this is... Um, it's kind of like... Um, it's like making cookies like when you make cookies if you have bad cookie dough the cookies aren't gonna turn out good this is a food metaphor <laughs> but you know what i mean like um yeah, you yeah. expect subpar talent to kind of blossom into epicness i guess is that where i was going <laughs> i think i think the more appropriate metaphor is um if you can be eating at a really fancy restaurant and the presentation of everything can be great but if the ingredients suck, you're still not gonna give. You're not still not gonna leave happy. So it's like they 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 cooked Pringles into like shapes of like a steak. Like you could tell me it's a steak, but it's still just Pringles. It's still just Pringles, yes, exactly. And um, I will say, have have you noticed that maybe this is just maybe me reaching? The judges haven't been like hyping this season up as the best season ever. Did Did you notice that? I mean, because. No one's that good. <laughs> they're they're not capable of. I mean, they they can lie, but they can't lie to that level. I mean, that's above their pay grade. I'm fine with that. So, where would you rank this season? Kind of uh, uh on the how many have we recapped on on reality? Are three seasons? Of we did HGT, Lim, Yes. Of AGT proper, not uh, we did. Uh, I know. Of, of AGT Lim. proper, this is dead last. Um. Not Wait. just the seasons that we've recapped. Of all the seasons I've seen, this is dead last. Um, and last year was second to last. So, Yeah, the problem, there's just not, the talent's just not there. And it's so disappointing. Mm-hmm. Not, 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 and that's not even, that's glossing over the fact that I lost my golden buzzer, the last golden buzzer of the Reality Hour team. And uh, I'm pretty pissed about it. Uh, I have some thoughts on it. We will talk later. But before we get into the deep dive, um, some notes. Uh, before the episode even came on, there was some news that I had heard um, people talking about. Eric, I'm going to kind of defer to you here for this. Um, is there some news about a contestant withdrawing from the competition? Yes, there is. So um, can you tell me what happened? Um, one of the high school football player, singer, who I never thought was particularly great, honestly, um, dropped out so they could play football, is what apparently he said. So, You know, people on these shows, they always – give reasons that maybe aren't the real. Do you think this was a genuine reason? I don't, but who knows? 
we no one knows and i don't think the only one who does know is him so i don't know but uh did you miss this act um no i think i vaguely remember like i i looked him up i think i like vaguely was he he was not missed is is your your take no i mean he was what he would have been just he would have been cut regardless in this round so Hmm. all right well so we've made it to week four Simon Cowell is still MIA. Um, any updates on Simon? What's what's been going on there? I think doctor's order he's been forced to not judge, so I'm still like surprised they haven't like set up a computer, like just put a computer on his desk like the big thing theory episode with Sheldon on the um screen. <laughs> you know. That would have been nice, but oops. Oops. <laughs> All right. Well, we move on to the Acts. So, kicking off the show, we have CA Wildcats. They are a cheerleading squad. Um, they, uh, I don't like to be mean, but this was pretty forgettable, Eric. Yep. Um, so, yeah, very forgettable. Um, they're okay, but they, A, were not there in person. And B, they were not good enough to overcome any busting by Howie. So, do you think it makes a difference if an act is there in person or if they're performing? It makes a little bit of a difference, but it makes a bigger difference that um, that Howie bust them. So, I would actually disagree. I think when you're not at the AGT stage, you can you have creative freedom with kind of what you're in some cases maybe, but I feel like. If you're there, you're limited to the actual stage. Like, if you're a singer, I would say being there works and is to your benefit. But if you are a dance troupe, I would say, you know. Mm-hmm. Hashtag yeah. disagree or agree? Hashtag I'm indifferent. I just didn't really care for this act one way or the other. So, I mean, look. They're talented. Like, they're good. Yeah, they're good. But the problem is, they're not good enough. And there's just nothing to differentiate them from not only acts that we've seen in the past, but acts that are in this episode. Like, there's another act that I was... It's like the same thing. And there's not really that much setting them apart. And that's why I feel I would have given the edge to the other dance act because I thought the the staging was a little bit cooler. Sure. All right, we move on to Kennedy Dodds. Uh, she is performing an original song <sighs> behind the piano, um, but I was not a fan of this one, Eric. What about you? An inspiration porn story and not enough talent to go with it. So I, I, I watched this and thought, oh, she's gone. But she made it through. I, I will say, I don't know all the results. Eric's going to, this is kind of the running I'm gonna go, as we go. The so I'll put I do it know that, you, do, you do know that Noah got cut. And I guess like and, Kennedy made it through. I don't know if she they, made it through on the top three or the Duncan. They were paired up. Noah and Kennedy were next to each other on stage. And one of them was in the top three and one of them was cut. I thought, okay, good. Noah made it through. And then, nope, Kennedy made it through. I have thoughts on Ken, on Noah. Like I, I really have thoughts on him. But I have lots Kennedy of thoughts. alone. I'm gonna say this. I think she gets cut next round, but we see her on the next season of American Idol. You heard it here. Is she 15? Okay. That's does she make the cutoff? I don't know. Um, all I know is that I, I, I just didn't think this was great. It was okay. I thought she should have gone home. I thought the judges wanted her to go home, and then poof, she made it good through. So, yeah. How did she make it through? What what happened here that she was? I I I don't know what America was smoking for these results. They were just bad <laughs> all around. We'll get we'll get to the rest of them. All right. So here's another question I have because, like I said, I've been pretty unplugged from the AGT sphere. I've been super busy. Is it just us who's kind of having this reaction to the season? What are the fans saying on on the social media? On YouTube, people are loving certain acts, which. And some of them I'm just baffled by, but like who, who who do we'll, they love? We'll get to them. Was it Kennedy? I I guess it had to be Kennedy. It was not Kennedy. That that one's not the one that offends me. 
Well, I'm not offended right. by it, but I'm just confused. You have questions. <laughs> I have serious <laughs> questions. <laughs> All right, we move on. Light wave theater. Yeah, this is um, it's some puppetry. It's some light. It's it's a mix of shadow dancing slash, not really shadow, just more so just puppetry. Um, they're from Romania. There's this whole story going on with them and the pandemic and the government. But they do this performance, and I gotta tell you, this was just creepy. Like something about it. I get that it's. I, I'm like too unnerved by the puppetry to kind of enjoy it. Did did you get that vibe too? No, I, I mean, so I thought the act was kind of cool, and I definitely don't think it would deserve to be. Oh, it's fun. cool. It's just the movement. It like it's 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 scary music away from being a horror movie. Like sure. if you have, you I know mean, what I mean. But, but then again, you can say that about quarantine as well, and that's the story they were telling. So. Yeah, but it's been the same puppets, the dog. I mean, yeah, whatever. I thought this was a cool act. Um, I didn't think it was a winning act, but I enjoyed it, and I would have put them through. Um, and of course, how he buzzed them. I don't think I would have put them through. I don't think the buzz was warranted, but I don't think like you can't give them the buzz. Like it's so much more work. But um, I just I don't think I would want to see this again. It, it's like um, there's a word for it. I think it's uncanny valley, like where it's too lifelike and it just starts to get very. It felt like I said, it's the music. If you change the music, this is a horror movie scene. OK, uh, yeah. like the the, ba the dog has. I, I don't know, but not my thing. And I usually go for these acts, but yeah, I know. so do I. All right, we move on to th did they make it through? No, they didn't. All right. Of course they got cut. Yeah, I actually think I, I messed it. I was this the first buzzed act of the season? I think maybe. It took to week four. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, we move on. Resound. Is it re resound or resound? How how do I pronounce this? You don't even know. Fuck of I know. <laughs> <laughs> so they are a, a gospel uh, trio. Um, they have this whole story where um, they, because they were going to be on America's Got Talent, they kind of quit their jobs, kind of hoping for the big break, which I uh, don't know if that's a very good idea in general for these shows because they're very hit or miss. Um, and now because COVID's going on, they've just lost everything with their no opportunities. But they're performing um, and Andrea Bocelli's uh, Fall on Me. What did you make of these guys and their story, Eric? Not for a story. I'm going to talk about their talent. They're definitely a little bit churchy for my tastes, but I cannot deny the talent. They're really, really good. And when it came down, spoiler, to the save vote, I voted for them. And they lost the save. So they're gone. They didn't make it? I thought they... I like them. Like, I thought they were good like um, yeah i thought they were good too i voted for them out of the three that were up for the save and poof they're gone who else were up for the save we'll get there that that genuinely like surprised me like i would have maybe they would have been in my top three of the night i don't know but they were they were talented like i thought they they didn't do anything wrong is Correct. what i would say like they they saying well i didn't hear anything off where what happened? Where did they go wrong, Eric? Um, there's no top story. Yeah, genuinely. Yeah, you're right. Dang, that's so like cold. <laughs> like to just because you have a normal life, you do not get to go through. That's that's what America's ta got talent is now, and it's really getting getting on my nerves. But we'll get there. All right, we move on. Divas and drummers of Compton. Yeah, these are just... It's the same thing as uh, the act kicking off the night. i guessing they made it through, though. Did they? Nope. Really? Did did So neither of the dance acts? Mm-hmm. Wow. All right. So they do... I I thought their staging was so much better. It was cool. It was like um, the the pep rally. It was, it was fun. It was high energy. But it's not a winning act. And that's... 
exactly. I kind, of, I kind of felt like a, there was a problem with the staging, which is that being on like a high school football field reminds you that they're just a high school act that isn't anything particularly special. I would disagree. I I see what you mean. I take your point, but I think it also is more grounded. If that makes sense. Like yeah. compared to the <laughs> other act, that's like behind the the ridiculous the, like the drapes. Like this yeah. felt more real. You yeah. know what I mean? Like. Well, so I, mean, I it was good. I mean, I enjoyed it, but it just wasn't, you know, it was it wasn't enough, I don't think. Yeah, I enjoyed it. But correct me if I'm wrong, this was just an observation and I didn't know. Was one of the dancers pregnant? Yes. Oh, I was I was thinking like can you dance if you're pregnant? Like I, I, I don't know she like, wasn't dancing much. She was she was the director mostly. Oh, I I was just because then there were a lot of people there. Like yes. I don't know. Um, anyway, so bit of a surprise, but I'm going to go out on a limb and guess our next act made it through though. Barely. Barely. Wow. Selena. Uh, she is, I guess one of my favorites left in the competition. Corn kind of, sort of, I mean, at this point, now that I've lost every act I was kind of pulling for. So she is performing, uh, strong by London grammar. Is that what it's, this song was? Maybe. I don't know. I will say she's got a really good voice, and I really enjoyed this performance. Her problem is she's up against Christina Ray, who's a better singer, and has, and has a story, and is being pimped to high heaven. And so. It's going to come down to, like, the two of them. Like, one of them in the semifinals. No, I'm saying, like, in the next semifinal. Oh, yeah, maybe. They're going yeah. to be put together, and one of them is going to get bust, and the other is going to get the golden edit. You know which one's getting bust, right? I, I don't like that. Like, do do we know who's performing next week? Well, we could save this for later, but um, yeah, I I can look it up and after the end of the show, yeah. All right. Well, I like this performance. I like Selena. I think she's a cool person. I feel like she'd be fun to kind of. I, I enjoy the energy, and uh, I just, like you said, I can start to see a bus starting to rev up its engine and I it doesn't it need to be, they pimped her this week and she still needed a duncan save to get through so what do you think is the problem here is is it just what what's what's the problem not enough of the story and um yep. that's it all right well i i like her but i don't she's not like my favorite you know I mean, this week I, don't, I don't have this week I don't like anybody who made it through. So let's keep going. And speaking of buses, <laughs> <laughs> when Eric, uh, when I watched this episode, oh, I actually think I did watch. Did I watch? I think I watched part of the episode, and then Eric kind of sent me the spoilers while we were filming. But um, when I saw this performance, I think I tweet. I sent Eric a message of a GIF from South Park. Uh, yeah. Did. thrown under the bus because <laughs> that was what this was this was Eric. pure sabotage um and i'm amazed it worked so well because he went into this episode with more views than anybody else for his audition of the entire season including yeah. golden buzzers and they overproduced this so much and made it so hard to see him dancing but he got cut despite having the most viral audition of the season let me actually, it, it, it's just for, for viewers who aren't kind of keeping up. This is Noah Epps. He was my golden buzzer. He was my favorite act left in the competition. He is a dancer who kind of toes the line between like, um, it's it's like creepy-ish, like a little bit. It's kind of a, a darker sense of like, uh, of storytelling through a dance. Like his first performance was a puppet That's and very, like yeah. very eerie but it was cool like that's what i loved about it it was it was weird but it the difference between the other story is like he embraced the horrorness of it and i feel like um the the act that we talked about earlier kind of doesn't mm -hmm. but yeah this was a bust if ever i'd seen it the what you know this kid didn't pick the song choice he didn't pick the staging the problem is that they he's like a little kid and they threw and they him, drowned him out with everything and they threw him. so much crap on the stage that first of all you can't see him like mm -hmm. i couldn't even see his costume that much 
And it reminded me like of a Michael Bay like movie where it's just so much explosions and weird things happening that it's distracting you from the person who's actually talented. And I really wanted to watch. Like there was everything about this was just weird. Like there's the, boy, the scary boy from Toy Story. Yeah, just. And you know, this wasn't his doing. This was it, was, it couldn't have been. I, I I refuse to believe that after her audition, which went so well and got most views of anybody in the season, and was perfectly done, that he would that he would come up with something this bad. I I can't believe that. I don't I don't believe that. I mean, at least they let Merrick Hanna get to the semifinals before they bust him. Like I was expecting yeah. him to at least get one. Th- and it's such so disappointing. This kid was so good, mm-hmm. and they're like. One of the few like glimmers of light in the season, they just threw a pillow over and just so much potential, so much talent. And but because they didn't want him to win, they had to get rid of him. Why didn't they want him to win? What's wrong with Noah? He's so good. He has no story. So what? That's the problem with this show now. The show is all about the story and not about the talent anymore. And it drives me crazy. Why you gotta say it like that, Eric? Why, why you gotta... Because it pisses me off, that's why. And this one, the show is about talent. It's never gonna go back. The show is talent in the name, for fuck's sake, and it's not about talent anymore. Ugh. I could rant about this forever, but... It, it was a busing. Let's move on. Oh, this, this is like a double header back to back gut punch, I think. Yep. Alex Hooper. He's an insult comic. I'm going to throw this one to you, Eric. Go ahead. My favorite act of the night. The jokes were fantastic. The one, I, the one, the one joke across the line was him saying that Tyra was a better host than Terry Crews, which, as much as I don't like either of them, Tyra was a better host, was a worse host than Terry. So, I just had an idea for a podcast we need to do. <laughs> okay. Ranking hosts of TV shows. Okay, we'll do that. That's oh, a good idea. <laughs> yeah. Um, we can do that. Um, but I'll put it this way. Um, the jokes were fantastic. The, the setup was good enough. It wasn't the best performance I've ever seen from him, but it was good enough that he should have made it through. But, you know... Nope, he was a goner. Eric, th- this is on you. Like, this act was never getting through. Like, oh, I know. Never. I know. Like, uh, you might like it. I might find some humor in it, Not, but no chance. This is not – he had to have pulled, like, a, a rabbit out of a hat somehow, and it still wouldn't have worked out. This, this He was a dead man walking. Oh, absolutely. But um, I'm still – doesn't mean I'm not disappointed by it. He should have made it through. If it was based on talent and who actually who I enjoyed, I enjoyed him. But it's not based on that. So, well, who's up next? We have Broken Roots. So they are the act that was replacing uh, Songness. What? A, yeah. So they are a country duo. They are performing. Still haven't found what I'm looking for. Did they make it through? Um, by process of elimination, yes, they did. They made it through? Yes. They were top three? Yes. What? Oh, my God. Eric, what is happening? The show is just going right off right off a cliff. That's what's happening. I, I literally wrote one word about their performance. Eh. And you know what? Eh was good enough to make it through, I guess. I mean... It was fine. I mean, it was passable. It was it was good karaoke. It wasn't but bad. Like it was just not special. Not definitely not a million dollar act. Um, so what's here? What? Oh God! <laughs> let's just move on because deep breaths. Deep breaths. <laughs> yeah, let's go. We're, we're, we're building to it. Um. <laughs> Let's talk about Bellow Sisters. They are a hand balancing act. Eric actually got my re- live reaction to this before we went live. Um, you watched half and you said, I've seen enough. 
I, I, exactly. <laughs> that was that was basically. I like watched it, and then I was like, "Is this the whole thing?" And then I started skipping through it, and I was like, "Oh, this is the whole thing." Uh-huh. What did you think of them, Eric? I couldn't see it really because of how overproduced it was. Same issue of that they had with Noah. Um, so I thought this was a blessing, but clearly it wasn't because they got the judges save. Who was the judges save between again? Them and Resound. What? You know, look, I get that we we might not have the best talent, but like, you could at least save the ones worth saving. Mm -hmm. I genuinely think like, part of me thinks that the judges save is just like, there's a producer backstage. Oh, did you hear about who the wild card is for this week? We'll talk about that in a minute, but I, I have this idea that at some points, like these judges save, they just a producer rips up two pieces of paper, writes both their the contestants' name, crumbles them up, throws them in a hat, picks one out, and that's the one who gets saved. Yeah, basically. Well, let's move on to Brandon Leak. He is a spoken word poet. He is also Howie's golden buzzer. What did you think of this, Eric? I agreed with everything he said. Let me get that out of the way. Black Lives Matter. The fact that cops keep killing people is fucking disgusting. For no reason or for any reason, honestly. But it, it's just, it's disgusting what's going on in this country. Having said that, this act is not a talent. And it's, I, I, don't, I, dis, I don't disagree with anything he said, but it was a political speech. Shouldn't have been a political speech. It was a, it was a moral statement, um, but it it wasn't a talent by the definition of what I consider talent. Um, and doesn't matter. He's got a chance at winning this show. I truly think he's going to win this season. Like I'm I'm not even joking. Like I think he he could really win this, and um, I'm happy for. Every, I agree, totally agree with you. Everything he said, I totally stand with. But I also think that I don't know how I would feel so much of him winning. Like, I think the talent, I it's, it's a difficult thing to discuss. I don't know here. I, this is one where I just genuinely, like I said, I totally agree with everything he said. But I don't know how okay I'd be with him actually winning the show because – when you get down to it, he's talking, but you have other acts that are some hundred people in a group who are doing flips, and it's it's a different difficult thing to talk about, Eric. It's difficult um, because you, you can't you can't be mad at what he did because he said things that needed to be said, but. There are other acts that are more deserving of a million dollars. Yes. And I and I, it's just other acts take a lot more work to, to put together. Other acts um, take more effort to pull off, all sorts of things. And it's it's tough. But I, it's it's just uh, He's the one that everyone's going ape shit over him, and they should be. In a good way, or uh, in a good way. Um, I think he will win, Eric. Like I, I, truly... I think he has a damn good chance. If he's not winning, he's always top three. But if I was personally to pick between him and the other, the singer we were talking about earlier, um, I think you know who I would give my vote to. I would give my vote to Christina Ray over him. Yeah, there's a lot of people here. I'm sorry if I don't remember her names. Yeah, I would give it to Christina Ray. Um, I think... I don't know. I don't know. It, it's 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 a hard thing to kind of... Judge. Judge. But anyway, those are actually our performances of the night. Eric, if you were to pick one standout uh, from the episode, who would you say was your number one favorite? Alex Cooper. Even with everything that was ruined, I would have said Noah Epps. Noah Epps. 
but I, I would have said Noah if I could have seen Noah amongst all the shit they put. That's in. not fair. <laughs> all right. Well, do we have news about um, what's going on next week? Do we have our lineup for next week? Yes, we do. All right. Let's hear it. Who's going to be? Okay. Wait. So we know we know some of the acts performing next week. We don't know all of them. Um, we know who the wild card is. Um, Who's the wild card? Dance Town Family. Who? Correct. <laughs> they were the Latin dancers from Miami who were taped in front of the free ocean in week three. Were they the ones with the checkerboard? Yes, I think so. Was that how many wild cards did we get? Two. Who's the other one? We don't know yet. But having seen them being picked for a wild card when there's so many other good acts, deserving acts that got cut, Fang E in particular, this show just sucks. I'm Eric, sorry. I I gotta say though, I wrote a before we did reality hour, I had Adam's TV blog, and I wrote a full post about judges' wild cards. Like there was no, it was an article about like changes that need to be made, and there was like. People who get their hopes up for wild cards, like you're just setting yourself up for disappointment. The weird thing is Britain's Got Talent's not like that. Britain's Got Talent oftentimes will pick a good act for the wild card. But AGT just doesn't. Anyway. So who's in the actual lineup? Do we do we um, Kira McGrath, aka one singer who's not a plant? I want her to win. <laughs> not gonna happen. <laughs> Um, Malik Dope, drummer. Okay. Archie Williams, who is the only ever act besides Christina and Brandon who can win. Um, Alan Silva, Broken Roots, Spyro's Brothers, Double Dragon, Roberta Bataglia, and Brandon Leake. Roberta Buck, and who? Brandon Leake. All right. And... And then we're going to react. Probably. All right. Well, sad to see the season kind of go out with a bit of a whimper. Bit of a whimper. Um, but anything else you want to kind of touch on from the episode, from the state of AGT, from anything kind of in general? Um... Oh, Bella Sisters is, is, is the other act. That's that's on. Oh. All right. Okay. Anything else I want to touch on in general? Nope, not really. I just want to say, again, I agree how everything Brendan said, but I just, it, it just. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What? I think we might have some breaking news. What? I am just looking on Reddit. Mm-hmm. And I just saw a post about the performing on AGT next week. And Thomas's name is listed on there. <laughs> nope. It says, um, yeah, it looks legit. That's not right. Is, is this real? He got the he got the wild card. I just have to laugh. Yeah, he got the wild card. Really? So we did. <laughs> when did that happen? I don't know. It looks like it was an hour ago. Who knows if it's actually real? Uh, any anything else, Eric? Anything else to talk about here? One second, Twitter. I'm looking. Gotta, um, gotta double check. Let's let's. We can edit this, I guess. We are. Oh my God! It's an actual picture. Yep, that's real. That's something that was actually tweeted. Yikes! Yikes! But but but, but and are they still here? Oh my God! What? Breaking news. Thomas Daly. Thomas Day. Oh my God. That's so oh, weird. Anyway. 
that's weird and dumb, but whatever. Who cares? Um, <laughs> the sad thing is, like, look, I can bring a snark to any AGT podcast. The thing is, like, Eric has a bit more, like, investment when these shows come around. And to see you, like, when, when you start, like, having the, the like, uh, the effort attitude, it's that's when I know we've hit a turning point. Yeah, this show kind of sucks now. It sucks, but what are we going to do? Well, what I can do is I can say that I'm Adam Samuel. You can find me on Twitter at Adam Soapbox. That's a that's a transition. I run my website, adamsoapbox.com, and my YouTube channel, uh, Adam Samuel. I think it's going to be linked down below. Just did a new YouTube video uh, for a book review. You can go check it out there. Eric, where can we find you? Eric underscore Asher on Twitter, ericasher.com, bit.ly slash ericlawvids. And um, that's it. Mm. Well, uh, before we actually end this podcast, I have a bit of housekeeping to mention. This is going to be the busiest week of Reality Hour podcast. There are going to be three new episodes coming this week. On Tuesday, I'll be back with Grace for a Dancing with the Stars cast draft. Wednesday, I will be back with our other Eric to podcast about Big Brother. Then on Thursday, Eric and I will be back. This Eric um, will be back to discuss semifinals week one. God, I hope it's better. <laughs> Can't be worse. I'll give it that. Yeah, but um, other other notes. We're like, we got some more subs. We're getting something. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Hashtag like and subscribe. All right. Anything else, Eric? Not really. <laughs> All right. Well, Eric, I want to say thank you for, for joining me for this podcast. Um, always, always great to talk to you. Chronologically, you joined me, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much to our viewers. We, we will be back three podcasts this week. I hope you'll tune in, uh, even if it's just for a few minutes, to give us the view. It helps. Until then, peace.